so I didn't expect it to come down to this, but here's the low star circuit at Horseshoe. It is 70 degrees outside right now. Feels a lot hotter. And if you guys don't think 70 degrees is too hot, uh, I dare you guys to go to like horse pens 40 and try and do V8 when it's 70 degrees. It's brutal. But yeah, I'm on a low star circuit here uh, at the creek bed, right above Pangea. Got a couple of V8s I'm gonna try and do, and I'm gonna try and do every V8 in the guidebook actually. This is our last week in Arkansas this year. And hey, why not dumpster dive a little? So here's a little video. Yeah, what makes these dumpster dives and this low star circuit so interesting is they're all obscure, you know? No one does them. The FA probably doesn't even remember how they did it. And you have to refigure it out. Basically re-FA some of these climbs. And sometimes the V8s feel like V10s, sometimes the V8s feel like V5s, but oftentimes more than not, it's, uh, it's always harder. Otherwise, people would do them if they're easy. So, gotta figure out this baby. Okay, this one is called Dabadil. Gets V8 in the book. The exact starting position is unclear. It says right hand undercling and a bad left hand crimp. And uh, this guy Matt actually egged me on to scrub this a couple of weeks ago and I didn't even bother trying it. It was so bad. But I'm back here now and uh, I'm gonna try it over here first. Starting Left hand here, right hand under cling, and then uh, that part looks to add me, and I'm going to try and follow it up, whether that's V8 or not, I'm not sure, and then if that goes well, 
Well, either way, I'm going to try and do a direct mantle right here, which I don't think it's going to be that hard. But try and do them both to be safe. Okay, I just did it from both starts. I was able to do it first try. I'd say the one on the right was actually not too bad. I started with a right heel toe cam and I was able to just lock off righty to lip. I would say that way was maybe V5. And then the direct mantle over here, super dabby with this rock. Um, I didn't know where to start, but I started with this really bad left hand nub and then jug right hand under cling hard first move into a funky mantle, I would give this one maybe V6. So, um, this is gonna be kinda like Mythbusters, like, is it possible to traverse the whole thing? Uh, I don't see why they would, like why would the first ascent do that? Seems really hard. So I'll try that for a bit, otherwise I'm moving on. Don't care, log and dabadil folks. Okay, update. That was either not Dabadil or it's not V8, but I moved on. So upstream here we have Licorette, which in the guidebook, it looks super sick. Gets V7. Um, it says it's not affected by high water levels, but I don't think I'll be able to try it today because of the water level. But I'm not mad because it looks nails and sharp as hell. So the topo goes straight up in the guidebook, but it looks like it might be easier to actually exit onto the face here, which is pretty lame. Well, that was Licorette, and the only way I'm going to do it, I wasn't even sure if I was going to try it because of the water level, but uh, I just put one pad down, and yeah, I escaped out left, which I'm not sure if that's what you're supposed to do. I mean, it felt pretty hard at the start. I would say that was still V7 the way I did it. Uh, what's funny is you can't see, I grabbed this wicked, wicked skinny little flake. But yeah, kind of lame. Some sharp crimps at the start. Okay, we're all done with the creek bed boulders. And now, we're at the lost boulders. And this one is called Death From Above. It's my first time looking at it. it starts in this little cave. And then, 
I guess it tops out. Um, I don't know. The guidebook says it. Maybe it goes through here. That's funny. Uh, no chalk whatsoever. Gets two stars in the guidebook. It looks all right until it top out. And at least it's a little cooler over here in the, the cave. So I'll chalk this up and give it a go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Okay, got it. Got the flash. I know the camera angle is pretty bad. Um, but I, I did indeed do it dab free. I had more room than it looks. And the first two moves got me by surprise a little bit. Well, I knew th this is like the crux left hand crimp. And then, uh, yeah, the first two moves were brick. And the top out was pretty sloppy. But yeah, it tops out. Whatever. Funny enough, this was actually the last V8 I had to do in the guidebook. I believe there's 21 of them. And that was the last of them. So psyched on that. Okay, next on the list we have Sun Squabby V9 on the Elf's Hat boulder. This is only like 50 yards behind the Flash Gordon boulder. I've never actually looked at it. Uh, the hike to it kind of sucks. But yeah, not much info on this one. It says start low on an edge and crush sharp crimps to a slightly crumbly top out. So I think we're looking at it. And yeah, obviously no chalk, and by the looks of it, this first move is going to be really hard. And I'm fourth day on, and it's fucking hot out, dude. So, I'm going to try it, but I have doubts right now of actually doing it. But that'd be cool if I do. first move went, I had to bail out. I thought the right hand was going to break on me. There's a lot of force on the pinky and felt it flexing a little bit. Not the best rock. I'm going to see if I can commit to it and uh, if it explodes, it explodes. Maybe try and go left hand to it. I don't know. Try it again.
Oh my gosh. So sandy. Wow. Okay. Second go. Okay, got it. Second go. I, I gotta say, it was terrifying. Super crumbly holds. Sandy. I really thought they were gonna break. Uh, and for that reason, I would... I would only give this one star max. Maybe even give it the bomb. Just terrible rock quality. Yeah, really. Gotta own this for the second move. crazy oh yeah and this was actually my last v9 in the guidebook for horseshoe yeah there's 12 in the guidebook it's the last one great day great day of choss chasing so i just went through the guidebook again and i only have three v7s left but i looked at man of faith completely dirty don't feel like cleaning it turbulence looks terrible uh, on the african red boulder that one looks terrible not gonna try that one and then the last one was Facing Eternity, which looks pretty good coming out of the little corridor there. But uh, I forgot there's one last V8. So I'm gonna pack it up and head there. And this one might be the hardest. So in true fashion, we're dumpster diving at its best right here. Wait till you guys see this one. Okay, just got to the last V8. Longhorn. And I didn't forget about it, it just wasn't in the guidebook index. So I wasn't sure if it was a 7 or an 8, but it gets 8 in this guidebook. And uh, I've probably looked at it three times this trip and swore I'd never try it, but here I am trying to complete the guidebook. And I heard from some locals maybe a foothold broke and it's a lot harder now. So I'm not sure. Looks brick, but we're here to try it. One thing you guys should see before I try it is the start holds reason I've been avoiding it is because they are super heinous. The right hand is basically nothing. And then the left hand. Undercling. Yeah, the guidebook says a knee bar pad may be helpful. So, I'm bad at knee bars, but I got the pad. First moves break. Oh. Yeah, the first move's so hard, so I'm basically just gonna work the moves in ISO and see if I can figure that out and then uh, try it again from the start. Okay, just finished working the moves, basically one move in. Still can't believe I flashed that first move. Uh, unreal. I know I'm fourth day on and I'm haggard, but this feels way hard in a V8 right now. And if I pull this off, uh, it's, uh, just, just watch it. Oh my God, it's so hard. Dude. Oh my god. What the heck, dude? Pulled it. Uh, it took me like probably six or seven tries to stick that move in ISO, that second move. And I had doubts about actually pulling it off from the start. The foot walks super hard. Yeah, I just had to turn it up from the start there. Those undercleans are heinous. Yeah. 
But yeah, did it. No knee bar pad. V8, baby. Last one. Yeah, good day. That's the last of them. So, uh, yeah, if you guys are wondering, well, did he do this one or did he do that one? I've done every V8, V9, V10, and V11 in the guidebook. And uh, I'll show you guys a couple bonus clips here that wasn't from today. Thanks for watching. Well, that didn't last long. It's the next day, and I decided I'm gonna go for the last three V7s. So, I'll be fifth day on. It's a little warmer today, and not looking forward to it, to be honest. One of them is a 30-foot lip traverse. I gotta rescrub the whole thing, it's full of moss. And then another one, basically there's only one start hold, and it's one move and it was put up by a guy who's a pretty big sandbagger. So that one's gonna be the hardest, I think. But whatever, three left, figured may as well go for it. Just got to Man of Faith, which is a long traverse. And it is really dirty right now. Guidebook says don't top out till you go around the corner. Landing isn't good at all. Landing's really bad, actually. I only have two pads. But yeah, needs a lot of cleaning. So, here I am. Shit. Guess I'll start scrubbing. Okay, I've been scrubbing for like 20 minutes. Doesn't look much different, but it's really dirty. Honestly, it's it's pretty dumb. Um, like, is the lip on, is the lip off? I don't know, I'm just gonna climb it with the lip on. Cause the landing gets really sketchy over here, so what can you do? Whatever, I'm gonna try and do my best and climb it. Update, this feels like the dumbest thing I've ever scrubbed. <laughs> so I'm literally just gonna fast forward this whole process, including me climbing it, cause it's gonna be pretty boring. What a dumb climb. <laughs> Well, I'm not really satisfied with that, but it's not like I threw away a whole day. I was pumped. Uh, I took everything I had to climb it that sloppy. You could top it out at any point. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. That thing's bad. Here it is all chalked up. Figured I spent the time cleaning it. May as well show you guys real quick. Yep, long traverse on slopers. But yeah, the lip's right there, so I have no idea how you would stay like below the lip there. Anyway, don't care enough to do it again or a different way. Moving on. Okay, I'm at the African Arete boulder. 
about to try turbulence and I've looked at this one a few times and I still don't know what the left start hold is so we have I believe this is the right start hold and then it says bad left hand pinch which I hope it's not this because I don't think I can get off the ground with that but if I can figure out the left hand looks like it's just one move to a jug here so let's figure it out fuck dude I don't know where the left start hold is <laughs> Oh my god! Son of a bitch cock motherfucker. Ready Poochie? This one's for you. Turbulence. Trying to flap cliff and stuff. Easy bud. If I can get off the ground. It's <laughs> okay, bud. We got it. Well, that was a lot rowdier than I expected. Yeah. Uh, took the fall once. I was probably sitting under this thing for like 15 minutes trying to find a left star hold. And I ended up losing this as a pinch and yeah super rowdy move to this I topped it out not too bad one left it's gonna be dark by the time I get there but it should light up pretty easily it's okay bud moving on all right just got to the last v7 hidden in this little corridor by Magoo Rock and it's got some nice holds. They're all kind of angled. Looks like the first three moves will be the crux. And looks like the hard part will be the feet, which there really isn't any obvious feet down there. And then once you get through these crimps, you got some really juggy holds. And it looks like an easy top out. I know that was a little boring to watch. Uh, I really thought I was gonna fall on that one. I didn't flash, but I also didn't give it a flash burn. The feet were so tricky, I was just like, 
I don't know, it probably took me like 10 tries to figure out the feet and uh, the heel move there. There's really no feet down here. So that was a pretty cool one to unlock. Definitely would have been uh, nearly impossible to flash, I think. And pretty stout. Yeah, I was getting a little worried there. And then I found this little flip hold. But yeah, cool way to end the little journey here. Um, the Low Star Circuit. If you guys watched through the whole thing, thanks. I guess you guys like dumpster diving a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for Horseshoe. Pretty good little Low Star Circuit. Okay, here it is. Every V7 through V11 in the guidebook index. I've never done that in area before. Not even Patakoe. So that's pretty cool. As far as what I think the worst climb is, as bad as Man of Faith was, I hate Choss. And I gotta say, Sun Squabby was straight Choss. Terrible. I think that one should get the bomb. I mean, it was like climbing in Waco all over again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm kind of a Waco hater. But anyway, yeah, Sun Squabby, definitely not worth doing. I even got a few of the projects done with Brad. That was pretty cool. And as far as the 12s and 13s, the way Griffin did Fading Light Sit, I could never do with the toe hook. So I think that one would probably be closer to V14 for me. All screwed up. It gets uh, V12 slash 13. Looked at it, didn't look very good. Probably no interest on doing that. And then yeah, Flash Gordon sit. <laughs> Terrible. What the heck, dude. I tried a little bit. It's fucked. <laughs> and now uh, the 14s. Love by few, hate by many low. I got close on it, and I might go back for it. Now there's another one called Golden Palomino Sit. That one's pretty bad. No interest in that. But yeah, crazy to tick off so many climbs at Horseshoe Can Ranch. Funny side story, I tried Venus Butterfly 513A, and I couldn't do it. I was on a rope for like an hour trying these two moves, could not figure it out. So that's pretty funny to basically climb out all the boulders and then get shut down on a 513A. Literally just two moves on it that I couldn't figure out. So <laughs> looking forward to seeing a beta video for that one or what I was missing or just getting better at that style.